there are the collections you know, and then there are the more secret collections that The Sims team never officially made a collection. And we're about to highlight 6 hidden collections that you potentially never knew existed, with a few bonus mentions at the end. Let's get started by taking a look at forest spirits or spirit dolls that are brought in with the Snowy Escape expansion pack. There are 5 of these cute little puppet ghosty things to collect with each having a different colour and a unique facial expression. You can find these around Mount Komarebi where they'll appear as floaty ghosts that you can choose to collect or make a wish. You'll want to pick Collect, which has a relatively high but not guaranteed chance of granting you a physical spirit doll in your inventory. But know that this action will often lead to a negative moodlet for your sim, such as them becoming tense or dazed for a little while. Personally, I've found these to spawn consistently in two key areas, one being the Bamboo Forest located to the side of the Sembamachi area at the intersection nearby the climbing walls. The other spawn point is on the second stage of a mountain climb expedition, just atop a medium-sized climbing wall that you'll need to traverse. While there are just 5 spirit dolls to collect, I would say that overall it's rather difficult to find them all, and I must admit that I really struggled in particular to get the white spirit doll. That being said, they're kind of adorable, so I'm going to say that they're worth it. Next up, we're going to head into the sunny world of Sulani, where we will be dabbling in the world of underwater photography. For this secret collection, you're going to want to find a deep water buoy, such as the ones located off of the coast of the islands in both the Lani St. Taz and the Moa Pel Am areas. You'll want to start by purchasing a rebreather for 750 simoleons and an underwater camera for 1000 simoleons. Yes, there's a bit of an upfront cost. Once you've purchased both, then you'll be able to have your sim click on deep water buoys and choose to take underwater photos. And after diving down, they'll re-emerge a short while later, likely having found a gorgeously framed underwater photo. There are 10 in total to collect, with 5 being portrait and the other 5 being landscape and they really do look great on display. A quick side note here is that if you have a sim that's a mermaid, then they won't have to buy the rebreather, so they'll be able to save a bit of money that way. The third hidden collection that we're going to look at is decorative oversized crops, and these will come with the Cottage Living expansion pack. There are 7 of these to collect, with a lettuce, Aubergine, watermelon, mushroom, and three different colored pumpkins. Getting your hands on these will involve some gardening. You'll want to buy one of the large garden patches and use it to purchase oversized crop seeds before planting them. Now you'll need to pay very good attention to these crops, caring for them by watering them, ensuring that they don't have weeds, and using fertilizers. In particular, hypergrowth fertilizers will help your oversized crops to grow bigger. If you take really good care of your crops, then you'll have a chance for it to become a crop so large that you'll be able to transform it into decor. And these decorative oversized crops can be really fun to collect and style your home with. I also feel like it's an awesome little nod to Stardew Valley. The fourth hidden collection to highlight are horse competition trophies. I feel if the village fair ribbons for cottage living are an official collection, then I will say justice for the horse trophies because they deserve it too. As you likely expected, these are earned by entering horse competitions, with there being a bronze, silver, and gold plaque style trophy that can be collected from each of the four competition categories, being barrel racing, endurance racing, show jumping, and western pleasure. And these can be entered into from a ranch community board object, or from the equestrian center located in the new Appaloosa area of Chestnut Ridge. In addition to these 12 trophies, there are an additional three that you can earn from the Ultimate Horse Championship, again being bronze, silver, and gold. And these are a bit flashier than your regular wall plaque trophies. Note though that to have a horse enter the Ultimate Horse Championship, they'll need to place in the Master Rank competition of every category. In total, there are 15 horse competition trophies that you can collect. Let's continue and take a holiday to Selva Dorada, as we take a look at a collection that I shall call Selva Doradan Trinkets. I know, a bit odd, 
but to me this groups the 10 Selvageraden baskets, the 5 Omniscian dolls, and the 6 stone lotuses that you can pick up while on holiday in Selvagerada. All of these items can generally be bought when they go on sale at the market stores in the Selvageraden marketplace, and they can all look pretty cool or in some instances cute when they're put on display. If you have level 5 of the Selvageraden culture skill, then you'll also be able to access the secret store from the sims running the market store which have a few baskets and a stone lotus for sale too. Moving on to the hidden collection of paranormal artifacts, and I feel like this collection is similar to the magical artifacts collection, whereby it's comprised of many different elements, and quite a few of these can be earned by giving spectres gifts, with more able to be earned by getting yourself a paranormal investigator license before becoming a freelance paranormal investigator and taking on and completing freelance gigs. There are so many components to this collection, including 10 different unassuming candy jars, 6 different bizarre idols, 6 different Dahlia dolls, 3 different display-only clay hands, 4 different strange overgrowths, and finally, the best of them all being the 3 Spectre jars, which are some of my favourite decorative objects in the whole game. You could potentially also include the Ecto Cake, the 3 different Spectre sips, and the 12 different soul scraps. But as you can eat, drink, or absorb these, I feel like it's more questionable as to whether they are truly a collectible. Either way, collecting these items can be pretty great as they've just got an awesome and kind of creepy vibe to them. Now while these are the main hidden collections I want to highlight, I also want to give a few honourable mentions. Firstly to military medals, and these come with the Strangerville game pack. After you reach level 2 of the military career, you'll be awarded with a military display case, and you'll earn medals to be placed inside alongside every promotion, eventually ending up with a full case displaying 10 medals when you reach the top of the career in either branch. Next is that the Werewolves game pack adds in an additional two ones that feel like they could be part of the Magical Artifacts collection. These are the Moonwood ones, and they are difficult to acquire. To get them, you'll need to use a Werewolf scavenger ability to dig up and find a Werewolf book before reading it to unlock the Lunar Epiphany power. Then you'll need to again use the scavenger ability to find the diary of Gregorius Lundvik in Moonwood Mill, before reading it until you uncover a diary entry that mentions bringing a spellcaster into the tunnels and reveals the secret about a mysterious room within the tunnel system. Then you'll need to explore the tunnels, ideally with a werewolf who has the night vision ability and hopefully find the Moonwood Wand. And now for the final special mention being trophies from the Get Famous expansion pack, of which there are three main ones that you can reliably collect. Know that while they come in various swatches, I recommend just aiming to get one of each trophy. Firstly, there's the Drama Club Accolade, which is gained by reaching the top of the Drama Club as a child or teenager. Then there's the Fan Meet and Greet Accolade, which is awarded after having a gold medal Fan Meet and Greet event. And then you can also gain the Starlight Accolade if you're a highly successful celebrity and you decide to attend the Starlight Awards, which are hosted at Studio PBP on Sundays at 6pm. There are three additional trophies, being the Charitable Axe Trophy for Sims with a very high reputation, the Flaming Toilet Trophy for Sims who get up to mischief with a bad reputation, and the Annoying Air Horn Trophy which the description suggests is for very loud Sims. And I believe that these can be niche rewards for celebrities at the Starlight Awards, but I've honestly really struggled to be awarded with them myself. And with that, we're at the end. That's a look at 6 hidden or secret collections in The Sims 4, with a few potential bonus collections added in too because why not? If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and I hope that you have an amazing day. See you later!